now that we've got the basic mechanism for one of the legs down, what we want to do is duplicate that on uh, an axis to create the other leg set up. So I'm going to select all the objects and let's just translate that off the x-axis and then we want to set the initial state because we actually move the position of the rigid body object. So every time we do that we should uh, set the initial state. So once we've done that we want to duplicate this along the x-y plane to create the other leg. Once that's done let's set the initial state for all these objects as well. So we've got that set up. So everything, each one is independent of each other right now and they both should be working. Um, the one thing we want to do is if we play that back, you see it, it breaks apart. That's because we haven't constrained it together yet. So uh, what we want to do is fix constraint these two guys to each other. So we're kind of locking the rig together. So I'll select both of them, do a fixed constraint. And then we'll play that back. Now we're getting a much better result. You can see that the we're getting the proper leg motion. The thing is, for the other leg, what we're going to do is offset it in phase by 180 degrees, uh, so we have this kind of uh, you know natural gait kind of pattern, one leg after another. So to do that, let's just select these two guys, and what we want to do is just translate that down in Y. So let's just move that down here. Uh, so we're offsetting it uh, in position there. Once we've got that roughly where we want it, let's set the initial state for that. And we'll play that back. So now you can see as one leg goes up, the other one goes down. So again, we're not, uh, we don't have our gravity and all our forces, so the actual uh, inertia of the movement is causing it to spin. Uh, but one of the things we want to do on this side is to actually uh, take the motor and reverse the direction so we get the proper forward motion for both the objects. Again, tough to see there. Let's, let's actually add gravity and get this thing uh, a little more stable. So what I'm going to do is quickly just add a floor. We'll scale up the size. We'll translate it down. And not, not too far off the ground. We don't need to drop it too far. And we're going to make this guy a passive uh, rigid body object. And we'll add gravity to our system. So once that's done, let's play that back. And of course, we just get it falling on the ground. We need to create a stable base for the legs. So that's where the feet come in. I'm just going to go get a cube. I can scale that down a little bit. Now the feet are fairly flat, so I'm not. Uh, I'm going to scale down the thickness a little bit. We don't want them too big because then the actual force to propel it off the ground is too great, and uh, we'll we'll need to apply a lot of force to the object to actually get it uh, um, uh, lifting off the ground. So what I'm going to do is just set it up roughly about there. Let's. something like that and what we can do is actually just symmetry that as well on the uh, XY plane so we get it on the other side obviously on this side we want to translate it down so it's properly set on the foot now both these guys are going to be uh, active rigid body objects as well since they're moving and we want to constrain them to the leg so I'm going to use the multi constraint tool fixed constraint middle mouse click on the leg you see we, we, we've locked it to it. Do the same for this leg. So it'll follow the motion of the leg. And we'll end that. Now we have something uh, a little more stable. Let's hopefully see if this manages to balance itself. Okay, well that's, that's a good start. We're dropping it. At least it's able to stabilize itself. Now you can see the motors aren't powerful enough to actually propel the feet off the ground. You can see it's straining there. The actual motors are trying to turn and they, they, they don't have enough force because there's actually quite a bit of mass. Every object we're creating here is, has initial mass of one kilogram. And so you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, ten objects, not including the legs. So that's uh, ten kilograms 
of of actual uh, mass the motors have to overcome to lift the leg up so what we want to do is let's just select these guys all and I can do a multi-edit of the inertial properties and set the mass for all the objects to something like 0.1 so they're quite light uh, compared to the feet which are still one kilogram and we want to make the feet quite heavy so that's actually where it'll stay balanced and this the whole motor mechanism is uh, uh, fairly light in comparison so it can actually lift off the ground so let's play that back and there we go we're getting a better result we're getting a little bit of spinning there so what we want to do is go in and edit the feet to actually get the motion a little uh, more correct So let's actually go in and see, perhaps the torque can help us get the right motion. Let's increase the torque to say 400. Something I didn't do yet was if we look at the actual motor velocity, one is minus 123. The other is 123. Okay, so I have set them in the opposite direction, so that's correct. Okay, so this will obviously need a bit of fine-tuning. We'll get into that and see if we can get it walking properly.